Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to let you know that we have Donald Trump in the studio with us this evening. Mr. Trump, thank you for joining us. You know what? Thank you for having me. It's a great honor. Okay, well, Mr. Trump, it's getting close to the Iowa caucuses, just a couple of weeks away. Right. And as usual, you're very competitive in the polls, uh, but Ted Cruz is right up there with you. Do you think he can? Uh, do you think he might uh, win win the win Iowa? Well, look, uh, Ted Cruz has got some serious problems. I mean, I know it. You know it. Everybody that knows him knows it. And I mean, frankly, I'm leading in all the polls. But more importantly, I'm leading with the evangelicals. And I'm leading with the Hispanics. The Hispanics love me. They tell me in Spanish that they love me. So I don't think Ted Cruz is a serious problem. Okay, well, what about Marco Rubio? Well, Rubio is a lightweight. I mean, I've called him a lightweight. I think he is a lightweight. I think that Putin and China and other people would eat him alive. And I think he's too young to be president, honestly. I mean, you look at him, he looks like a little kid out there. Well, okay, but Ben Carson has been popular for a long time. He's slipped in the polls a little bit, but uh, isn't he going to give you uh, a run for your money? Well, you know what? I think Ben Carson, someone like Ben Carson, he comes across so low-key. It's like he's falling asleep out there. And another thing, um, he's a doctor. Like, so what? So now he's going to run for president. Excuse me, that's not how it works. Okay, but a lot of people are predicting that Jeb Bush, uh, since he has a lot of money, a lot of support, a lot of support from the uh, conservatives and the Republican base, that he might give you uh, a, a big challenge down the road. What do you think about that? Well, look, Jeb Bush, I think he's finished as well. I mean, he's a very low-energy candidate. He's a low-energy individual. And, I mean, that's a label that I gave him at the start of my campaign, and he can't escape it. Everywhere he goes, it's like it's written on his forehead, low energy. And it's been devastating for him, and I don't think he has a real chance. Okay, but now, on the, let, let's suppose, uh, Mr. Trump, that you win the nomination, the Republican nomination. Excuse me, uh, excuse me, excuse me. And another thing, another thing with Bush. Um, I think that he's an embarrassment to his family. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what about? <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. What about? What about? Well, first of all, who do you think uh, you're going to be facing on the Democratic side? Who would you rather face? And how do you think you're going to do against either Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders? Well, I mean, the Democrats, I mean, it's not looking too good for the Democrats. You've got Hillary, and she's got so many problems with the emails and the lies and the scandals. I mean, that's really what she's best at, is lying and scandals and corruption. And with Bernie, I mean, he's like a weak leader. I mean, he doesn't have it. Uh, the Black Lives Matters protesters took away his microphone, and I've never seen such weakness in a presidential candidate. So, I mean, I don't know. The Democrats, I mean, they're probably, uh, maybe Bernie might win, and if so, that's great. We're going to have a great victory for the Republicans. If Hillary wins, we're going to have another great victory for the Republicans. Either way, the Republicans are going to win. That I can tell you. Okay, Mr. Trump. Well, so, as, as far as your policies are concerned, what is your stance against Iran? What is your plan for dealing with Iran if you become president? Well, look, first of all, we need to fire Secretary Kerry. I'm going to look Secretary Kerry right in his ugly face, and I'm going to tell him, you're fired, because he's one of the worst negotiators in the history of negotiation. I mean, the Iran deal was a total and complete disaster. I mean... Like, what is he doing? We give them $150 billion so that they don't create nuclear. They don't need to create nuclear. They're so rich now that they can go buy it themselves. Well, and, and what are you going to do about ISIS then to keep us safe? Well, we're going to have to bomb the hell out of them. I mean, with ISIS, I mean, the Chapinoff heads, it's like medieval times out there. We can't allow ISIS to exist. They're evil. They're nasty. And everything else. So... A situation like ISIS needs to be dealt with swiftly and strongly. And that's one of the problems with Hillary. She's not strong. And Bernie, he's not strong. We need strength and we need stamina. Okay, Mr. Trump, uh, what do you have to say as a, as a final word to the American public as far as why they should vote for you? Well, you know, look, I'm leading in all the polls. I mean, you know it. I know it. And look, I'm really smart and I'm really rich. And I went to the Wharton School of Finance, which is one of the hardest schools 
if not the hardest school to get into. And I wrote the best-selling book of all time. I know you're laughing right now, but look, it was the best-selling <laughs> book of all time, The Art of the Deal. I know you're going to find like a book that sold like one or two more copies, but that's beside the point. Uh, look, I'm really smart, I'm really rich, and we're going to make America great again. That I can tell you. Okay, well, thank you for joining us, Mr. Trump. Thank you very much.